Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be comparing TextMesh Pro's uh, text auto sizing feature to Unity's UI Text Best Fit. Now, the reason why I'm doing these tests is I have a TextMesh Pro user who reported an issue with Unity's UI Text when you're using Best Fit, where if you profile the thing, um, you'll be able to identify that there's some issue with the event system where it gets into this recursive loop that causes like a massive performance spike and it's like really significant. Now, uh, fortunately, I haven't been able to reproduce that behavior, so it may be uh, occurring with a previous version of Unity. Right now I'm using uh, 5.1, so I haven't run into that scenario. So I'm still waiting for details on how to reproduce that event system problem. Again, it's not related to TextMesh Pro, but obviously it's something significant because even if you use uh, TextMesh Pro, you're probably using the event system. So it would be nice to figure out what that's coming from. But anyway, moving on. So what I've got in the scene here is I've got a UI text object with a UI text uh, other object for caption. But the, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let me uh, zoom back in. So the top uh, text object, which is a UI text object, is using best fit, and I'm going from size 18 to 120. The text mesh pro object uh, is basically same thing, going from 18 to 120. Uh, right now, the rec transform of both objects are the same size, and all I'm going to be doing is changing the width of the rec transform to shrink it to a minimum size where the point size will be 18, and I'm ping-ponging back and forth. I'm using the same script on both objects, and this script is very simple. I get a, a reference to the rec transform, and the minimum width is 100, maximum is 700. I increase uh, by 10 every single frame or decrease by 10 every frame, and that's all I'm doing. So if we take a look at this, I'm going to enter play mode. I'm using Camtasia, so it may not be as smooth as we would want it to be. Uh, first thing you'll observe, uh, actually let me stop this real quick. Make sure I enable word wrapping for TextMesh Pro. So I ran into this bug with UI text or an undesirable behavior, not necessarily a bug. But if you look at the top text object, UI text at a certain width will actually kick in character wrapping, which I believe is undesirable. Whereas Text Mesh Pro obviously does the right thing. It's going to maximize the size of the text. It will do word wrapping if it needs to, but it will never break up a word because I don't know why you'd ever want to break two individual characters unless the rec transform gets so narrow that then it has to break the width of individual words. Then it would be okay. But while it can still shrink the text, meaning you're above the 18 minimum threshold, it shouldn't break into character breaking. Now, the other thing that you can do with Text Mesh Pro uh, which I don't think you can do with UI text because UI text only offers uh, horizontal overflow. You're either wrapping or you're not. Uh, in the case of Text Mesh Pro, if I disable word wrapping, which I just did, um, it allows you to simply keep the text on a single line and have it, you know, ping pong up and down, which is kind of nice. So let me stop this. So in terms of performance, I did all my tests in a desktop build and I can bring it up uh, if I go here. And again, using Camtasia, the frame rate may not be great, but with this build, uh, individually, I created a build with UI text and a build with Text Mesh Pro and compared the two. Uh, so this is what I was kind of using, going back to Unity. So the UI text object, when it is first, when the scene is first loaded, there's a pretty massive performance overhead related to the font caching where uh, the example I was using was resulting in over 400 millisecond uh, cache or, or, or time to get the font caching going. And as the text object changes size until the caching is fully done, there's still a pretty significant performance overhead. And eventually, uh, UI text settles in where all the fonts have been cached, and then it's doing about 0.51 a millisecond per frame in terms of updating the text and, and finding the best size. By contrast, uh, Text Mesh Pro incurs no real significant performance overhead related to caching because it doesn't have to do any of that because with sign distance field, the text can scale linearly. So uh, right from the start to going forward, Text Mesh Pro has the same performance characteristics. 
and text mesh pro per frame is basically 0.24 on average millisecond, which is roughly a 2x performance improvement over UI text. Now, my results are posted on the text mesh pro user forum. It's in the support forum. It's one of the posts related to comparing UI text to text mesh pro. So you can go there and take a look at the screenshots. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or suggestions, and you're a TextMesh Pro user, please uh, feel free to post on the user form. Thank you for watching.